Jez Quigley. Do I know you? We need to talk. Sorry, my mum told me never to speak to strangers. My name's Battersby. Leanne's dad. Who? Oh, you know her. The barmaid in the pub that got done over, New Year's Eve, the Rovers. Oh, I. So? Like I said, we need to chat. I'm listening. Not here. Somewhere private, eh? Suit yourself. Right. What's all this about then, eh? I told you. Robbery. I don't know how about it. You put my daughter in hospital. For the record, no, I didn't. But that's where you'll be in if you don't let go. Yeah. Well, let's see what damage I've done to you, pal. I don't think so. Now, let's get things straight, shall we, eh? You might act big with your mates here, but you're going to be on your own one night. Believe it if you like, Dad. But I never touched her. I wasn't even there. Let's see if the police believe that. Oh, I won't go bothering them with this one. Not for your sake, all the hands. Look, if that happens to me, my wife knows where I am. I'm sure someone's about you. You got the wrong end of the stick again, haven't you, Dad? For starters, you're not worth the bother. But if the police do come looking for me, the next place to go is to the Rovers to pick up the barmaid. Oh, I. Yeah. And I'll tell him how Leanne owes me money. You are. She's got quite an habit, your little girl. She couldn't pay for it, though. You see, leaving pub door open accidentally on purpose was her way of wiping all the debts away. But she's like an old man. She couldn't even do that properly. And you think the police are going to believe a load of bull like that? I don't see why not. That's the truth. She was in on it from the start, Dad. To pay for her coke. But she bottled it. I'll tell you what, though. She's lucky she only got a bit of a tickle. You're lying. You know I'm not. Hey, Les, have a Leanne's in hero. Hey! Is she in the back? Leave it, Vinny! I've just been talking to your pusher. I told him he was a liar. That you... You wouldn't be that stupid. I tried to stop him, Dad. I really tried. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? There was nothing to tell you. Life had got so bad that the only way you could face it was by using that stuff. Oh, like it's no worse than swilling beer down your neck every night going home drunk. I've got no. I've never had out. But you, you've got your whole life in front of you. I know you lied to me. You try and rob Natalie. And even now, you're making a fool out of Janice out there. Who's loved you like you were one of her own? <laughs> I was prepared to go to jail to get the bloke who beat you up to get revenge for you. <laughs> but now, now, you disgust me. <laughs> <laughs>